Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Welcome to Our Region's Business with your host, Bill Flanagan. Well, today on Our Region's Business, uh, we'll peek inside a new exhibit at the Heinz History Center that focuses on an important chapter in our region's manufacturing history, uh, one featuring the History Center's namesake. And a company that helps organizations manage change is experiencing change itself growing uh, with a second office right here in our region. But first, Westmoreland County Community College has cut the ribbon on an ambitious advanced technology center. The state-of-the-art facility is designed to meet the growing demand across our region for skilled workers who need some training beyond high school, but maybe not quite a four-year degree. In fact, by some estimates, most of the jobs being created in our region actually fall into just that category. Doug Jensen is CEO of the Advanced Technology Center, and welcome. Good to see you. Well, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, congratulations. I guess this has been, what, a three-year journey for you to get this Absolutely. facility built. Absolutely. It's been a great journey. A lot of opportunity here for the region, so we're excited about our event and bringing people out to the new Advanced Technology Center. So Westmoreland County has been around a long time, been doing a lot of training for these kinds of highly skilled technology careers. Why was there a need for a facility like this? Um, I think the important part is we looked at the region and the advancement that are going on specifically related to the energy sector and the manufacturing sector, we realize the importance of creating a partnership between education and industry to address the pipeline needs of the future workers. There's been tremendous amount of assets invested into the region, and what we have to do is make sure that we continue to capitalize on the people who will be there to support the development of those assets. So the college saw this as a great opportunity to provide a regional asset um, to support the energy sector as well as the manufacturing sector. Well, there's certainly plenty of demand there. And more to come. Uh, tell us a little bit about what goes on inside and what really sets the facility apart from other types of educational facilities. Well, I think what makes this facility unique is it's a partnership with the industry. Um, we've spent a lot of time developing our partnerships in terms of manufacturing sector and getting the input and advice from industry to guide us on what is the relevance in terms of the curriculum, the skill sets, the needs from um, moving forward, and having them at the table guiding us along the way. This is a 73,000 square foot facility. It is located in the former Sony Park, which is part of the industrial development um, area footprint. Um, within that region is probably one of the largest concentrations of industrial parks and manufacturers in the area. So this opportunity to really place this partnership where you had individuals either um, seeking employment, upskilling employment, incumbent worker training, contract training, customized training, to really support that area and develop the economy it was critical. The college sees the, um, the importance of this as a three-pronged focus, kind of a Venn diagram, where we link community development, economic development, and workforce development. Mm. If we want to have strong communities, we need to have a strong workforce. If we want to have a strong workforce, we need to have a strong economy. And if you want to have a strong economy, you need to have great neighborhoods for people to raise their children and raise their families. And it all does work together. We actually had a chance to catch up with uh, some of the employers uh, when you had your ribbon cutting last week, and uh, they, had, they had nothing but praise for what you've done down there. Let's listen. This is really a world-class facility because government and, and industry and, and education partner together with that great vision of, of providing a great skill set education for these young people. So there you go, a vote of confidence from, from one of the, uh, the important customers, the actual companies. And have they really played a part? In, I mean, you look inside and you look around the building, it seems to be full of state-of-the-art equipment and everything. Is, have the employers themselves played a part in making that possible? Absolutely. It's not just a financial commitment. It's a technical commitment. Um, we talked about leveraging the opportunities. There's just tremendous technical talent that is there. We need to look at the people who are retiring, the skilled craft, craftsmen and tradespeople, as well as the engineers. Um, we need to make sure that those individuals are passing along that knowledge because as this industry continues to grow we have to capitalize on that we need to keep that foundation here so industry has not only played a role in terms of financial support and technical support but also um, just in terms of building out the relationships helping us be, find new strategic stakeholders helping us to uh, um, become announced on a kind of a national playing field as well as not just a regional playing field. So what are a few examples of the hot careers uh, that you'll be training people for down there? Well, I think the keys are in the energy sector and the manufacturing sector. We're hearing a lot about you know advanced manufacturing with our partnerships. We're hearing a lot about additive manufacturing, three-dimensional modeling, rapid prototyping, the whole field of mechatronics, the whole field of industrial electricity, 
um, welding, fabrication, metal joining. Um, there's tremendous opportunities in those areas, as well as what we're seeing in the energy sector with what we're doing with First Energy and their electrical utility program, the gas industry, process control, mechanics and technicians. The, the field is just ripe for growth. It's a part of Westmoreland County Community College, but not located on the main campus. It's down at what everybody knows as the old Sony plant near, near Mount Pleasant, right off the Pennsylvania Turnpike exactly. interchange. So I assume you're hoping this is going to be more than just a resource for Westmoreland County. Oh, absolutely. Um, the interest that we we have received from our surrounding county, our partnerships even here in Allegheny County, Indiana, Fayette, Washington, Green. People have reached out to us from northern West Virginia, eastern Ohio, and southern New York. We see this as really as an opportunity to help build the region and to see this as an asset, not just for the college, but as an asset for the region as it moves forward. Pretty amazing. How big an investment has it been for the college? It's about a $12 million investment wow. um, over the period of time. Um, that includes our equipment investments as well as the um, repurposing of the space. This was not a new construction. It was basically a purpose uh, repurposing of the existing space. And um, moving forward, I think it's going to be it's going to return on that investment already. We're seeing tremendous growth opportunities. Our enrollments are up at the um, Advanced Technology Center for this fall semester, which just began, and we think there's only great opportunity moving forward. Well, terrific! Congratulations, great leadership out of Westmoreland County to get this done. Doug Jensen, the Advanced Technology Center. Thanks so much. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate Thank it. You. Next up, when your organization confronts change, just how do you get your workforce to adapt? We'll have a few tips when we return. Stay with us.